would be some good examples of um, reflective listening kinds of statements or why might it be important? What were some of the things you guys wrote down? I'm getting better at it the more I do it. I, I've always been taught that you want to take some pause time to allow people to think and, not, and be comfortable with that. Some of what I wrote down was that... Um, I do notice that students need time to think about questions because they are thinking critically about what's going on. In yep. a way that lets you know that you're, you're yeah. hearing yeah. what they've been saying. Yeah. So paraphrasing if, if the that, pause goes on for too that. long, I think that's sometimes pos a positive indicator that maybe um, I need to cover some other stuff more or get them to think actively or even more importantly to somehow relate the questions to their personal lives or their personal experiences or their other educational experiences. So, And again, why is that important? I feel like whenever you repeat, kind of mm -hmm. reiterate what they're saying, then it opens them up to expanding on it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. good. So it opens them up to expand on it more. And why else might be r really important? Because then they know that you're listening. They know that you're listening. So good. when they don't seem to get it, I'll ask questions and I just get that blank stare. And I, I try to read their facial expressions too. If I get the, what, kind of look, you know, <laughs> then I know they're not getting it. If I get the, hmm, let me think harder about that look. I, so I guess I do read their facial expressions a lot. Mm -hmm.